Hey, what's up? I'm Liz. This is Blitzy DIY. And this is a DIY step counter. The step counter is using the clue board, which is a board from Adafruit that has the same uh, form factor as the micro bit boards, which you might have seen around. They're those little square things. The clue, though, as you can see, has a built in LCD, and there's also a ton of sensors on it, including an accelerometer. Now, my idea to do a step counter came after the Ruiz brothers released this case for it, which is quite fashionable and looking quite nice on my wrist. At first, I was just trying to use the built-in accelerometer and like figure out like when it would detect a step based on like the the readings that would come out, the XYZ, etc. Uh, but then uh, Lady Ada was like, no, nah, man, there's a pedometer built into that accelerometer, actually. There's a built-in pedometer. Um, so we can use that, and that way you don't have to do any management. It's like you can do other stuff while the pedometer's going. So that's what happened. Uh, and so now this is running with uh, right into the pedometer in the accelerometer, and then there's just some pretty simple circuit Python code to make the step count happen. Now, of course, you could stop at just counting your steps, but uh, why? Uh, when you can also have a nice uh, total step goal up at the top uh, with a bar, uh, that will fill in as you reach your goal. I have 10,000 steps set as the goal for right now. Uh, and then also steps per hour, which means how many hours you've been counting your steps. It then divides that by your current step count, and then you get your average steps per hour. Another feature, uh, since this does have a LiPo battery inside, uh, the buttons on the front can adjust the brightness. So this button on the left, which is the A button, can reduce the button, the brightness so that the screen's also off button on the right or the B button can increase the brightness. So there's another way to um, save your battery life. Before everything went nuts, um, I actually did have a chance to wear it like this uh, at work. And I'm on my feet um, basically all day at work because I'm an a AV technician. And I, first of all, the step count was very accurate to what my phone was reading. So that was cool. And secondly, I had it on starting at, I want to say, it would have been like 5.30 in the morning. Um, and the battery lasted until about 5 p.m. at night when I got home. So it lasted about five hours, half brightness on the screen, and the step count was accurate, and it was a good time. Now you might be thinking, well, yeah, Liz, but that was the before times that you did that. This isn't the best time project. People aren't really up moving around. Uh, you're so right, but I don't think you should let that discourage you. If you're fortunate enough to be able to stay home right now with the COVID-19 situation, and don't forget, being able to stay home is such a privilege, and you're very fortunate if you're able to do that. I know that it might feel frustrating or whatever, but there's so many people that I know personally and just everywhere that are still essential workers, they still have to go out there. So keep that in mind. You can use this to remind yourself, hey, I should get up and move. I haven't left my apartment today. I haven't left my apartment in weeks, uh, but I've already had, it's been about three hours since I put this on, and I've got 4,485 steps. I'm averaging 1,196 steps per hour. I made a soup. Um, I just kind of walked around. I definitely am making a little bit more of an effort to just walk maybe a little bit more back and forth just to keep your blood pumping and just to stay active. Additionally, you could flip it and reverse it. And when you go out to do your grocery store errands safely using all the proper precautions, of course, you could actually use this to track how few steps you're taking. You could really map out your plot through the store ahead of time and make sure that you aren't traveling much through the store. Use this as your guide for making sure that you're taking the fewest amount of steps as possible. But uh, in general, though, the reason why I made this in the before times and why I thought of it was I do walk a lot in my day-to-day -day life and I do find it just interesting to see how many steps I take. I don't live and die by it. I don't like try to get certain amounts. I just think it's interesting. Uh, but I hate fitness trackers. I refuse to wear a Fitbit or anything like that or a smartwatch. I don't like it. Uh, this lets you track your steps, have a step goal, 
see how many steps per hour you're getting without having to be connected to any big data. Now, because this is a clue, you could technically log the data via Bluetooth to Adafruit.io or another service. I didn't choose to do that for this project. Maybe I'll look into it in the future. That would be something if you want that, you could totally look into that to expand on. And I encourage you to if that's like your thing. But for me, I just wanted to see if you could build a DIY step counter with like a nice little like GUI on the front that's just a fun way to see how many steps you're taking. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, there's gonna be a learn guide on the Adafruit Learn system for it, so you can make your own step counter. Also maybe just look at the uh, accelerometer, which I'll pop the name up on screen because there is CircuitPython support, so you could do other pedometer projects. It doesn't necessarily have to be with uh, the clue, although this is a pretty great all-in-one option if that was something you were looking into. But I'll have all the information down in the description. If uh, you like the video, toss me a thumbs up, leave it questions or comments down below. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing more content like this. And until next time, stay safe out there, keep stepping. And this has been Blitz City DIY.